what is up folks it's me barking i'm here with another mod showcase from rimworld 1.0 and this is the get to the chopper my my arnold accent must be f goddamn terrible uh but it's a get to the chopper mod made by chicken plucker he makes amazing mods and even better animations no the mods are better than animations make some really really good stuff and here he has released a get to the chopper mod which is a mod in the same vein as the srts expanded mod adds in reusable vehicles, reusable drop pods effectively that you can land on another tile. So if you wanted to go somewhere in the world, you can do that and come back. I do have the predator mod still on because I wanted to use the predator mod to sort of make that intro video. And then I tried to remove it and I couldn't. So here we are stuck with it, but we can go and raid a predator base later on in the video. I just want to say quickly, thank you all for the likes that we've been getting on the videos recently they have been freaking awesome absolutely awesome so anyways let's get straight into the mod so as i said it adds in reusable drop pods so effectively you can make a delorean if you want to it has for some reason flying cars too so it has the delorean from uh, or delorean from back to the future and then a whole other different range of helicopters a vtol and a few airplanes i don't know if a vtol is an airplane or a helicopter or something else but yeah maybe it just is a vtol that's its actual name so they all take some form of research so it starts off with helicopters then goes into airplanes then into flying cars for the helicopters one you need transport pods a high-tech research bench and a multi-analyzer just to get into it which is nice it's a little bit it's a little bit of a steep cost but when you're making helicopters it makes total sense i suppose which is pretty cool. So let's start off with the De Delorean then. I'll do the price, how much fuel it takes, its HP, and how much it can carry. So the price for this is 45 plast steel, 25 uranium, 120 steel, 5 components, 2 advanced components. Can take up to 125 liters of chem fuel, has 150 HP, and can carry up to 250 kilograms. Next up we have the MH6 Little Bird. The Little, the little Bird costs 50 plast steel, 250 steel, 8 components, 2 advanced components can carry up to 942 kilograms. It has 300 HP and takes up to 380 liters of chem fuel. Next up, we have the Aero, Aero Speciale Gazelle. I don't know if that's French or Russian or something like that. I, I'm probably gonna butcher it. All the military people are gonna come out of the woodworks, just like that one time where I spoke about the uranium tip bullets and I said I had no idea why they would do that. And then everyone came out to correct me, like they probably will in this video too. Anyways, it costs 80 plus steel, 350 steel, 10 components, 2 advanced components. It can take up to 500 liters of fuel, has 350 HP, and can carry 1,090 kilograms. After that, we have the UH-1 Huey. It has 380 HP, 600 liters of fuel capacity, 1,200 kilograms of carry weight, and 90. it costs 90 plus steel, 500 steel, 10 components, 2 advanced components. After that, we have the UH-60 Blackhawk. Just, I just want to say the models on these are absolutely awesome. Same thing as SRTS Expanded. The models of the helicopters are damn awesome. Just looking at this Huey and then coming to the Blackhawk. Whoever made this, I don't know if it was Chicken Pluck or not. Uh, they deserve a raise from, I don't know, 10%, from 0 to 0. Anyways, this can take up to 750 liters of fuel, 1,400 kilograms of carry weight. It's costs 100 plus steel 500 steel 10 components three advanced components and it has 450 hp well that was weird let's go back next up we have the ch 53 c stallion what a weird looking helicopter um but anyways it takes up to 980 liters of fuel has 750 hp can carry 7890 kilograms which is just absolutely insane and this one costs 200 plus steel, 700 steel, 14 components, 10 advanced components. That seems a bit balanced in my opinion, actually. Next up, we have the Embraer Phenom 3300. Sorry, I don't know if that's Phenom. Phenom, Phenom. Can take up to 650 liters of fuel, has 450 HP. Can carry 1,250 kilograms. And it costs 80 plus steel, 500 steel, 8 components, and 5 advanced components. Next up, we have the C-130 Hercules. This thing just looks damn awesome. And it just brings back memories from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Whichever one had the cool Spec Ops missions where I made could uh, fly one of these. Damn cool. It takes 1,090 liters of fuel. Can carry up to 9,790 kilograms. Has 1,025 HP. 
and it costs 350 plus seal, 1000 seal, 10 components, 25 advanced components. And then finally, we have the V22 Osprey, which has 710 HP, can take up to 900 liters of fuel, can carry 4,190 kilograms, and it costs 180 plus steel, 700 steel, 14 components, 6 advanced components. So as you can see, nothing on the end of the SRTS expanded mods. They can all take more pre uh, pretty much for their equivalent size and value. Um, but that mod is a lot more advanced than this one would be, you'd think at least. This is pretty damn awesome. I love the look of the Huey here. This It must be one of the best looking remote mods I've seen just in terms of the quality of the actual look of it. Um, it just looks so freaking cool. So we can mess around with them. It works in the same vein as the uh, as the prior one. You can send people or or colonists, whatever you can put them in, and fly them to different parts of the world. So if I wanted to go make a second colony there, you can see it takes off. Looks a bit janky. That's because airplanes. I don't think airplanes are meant to be here. And then you can settle and bring them back if you want to, and land again. Bring them back in. Oh, now it's facing the other way. It's making a lot of noise. And it starts to fade. Cool. Wind up. Yeah, but you can do a lot with it. I, I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Let's assault a predator base. I wonder if the three of these guys can handle it. Or if we need to spawn in some help. I think we need some armor. Just by the way, for armor on these pawns, I'm actually using other of Chicken Pluckers mods just to sort of get the look for them right. Yeah, you know, why not? Let's bring him in. Let's do what we did before. Bring in a whole ton of camp fuel. Stack them up, stack them up, stack them up. Look like the Joker from uh, Dark Knight Rises. Just having a whole bunch of gasoline. I mean, it's not gasoline, but the, the texture is almost exactly the same as gasoline. And it looks like it, and it does the same thing. It explodes. Let's go balls to the wall. And then let's load them up. On newly acquired boomalopes, camp fuel. Are you kidding me? We don't even max out the weight with this many things. How much can we take? So we can't fit everything in here, but we're gonna break the rules a little bit because it's awesome. And then let's go attack. Can we actually get you? Drop in the center. Let's go, boys and and ladies. There we go. The only thing I wish I saw was that the animation would just go straight instead of going to the side. But that's what drop pods look like. It is probably an actual engine thing. And there's the airplane flying <laughs> skew. And um, let's kill some predators. Or Yaucha, as they're called. Yaucha. And here we go. There's quite a few of them. I was hoping that they'd be... Oh, look at that. Alright, run, 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 please don't explode, don't explode, yeah, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. <laughs> Alright, ain't the end of the world. And then they shoot this guy. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Great. You got quite unlucky with that spawn, to be completely honest. This is my final stand. Brought one of them down. Oh no. Wow. I can't worry about that right now. Let's 
unfortunately, these people are not very good fighters. No, Billy! Billy, what? Dude, we actually won! We actually won! By dumping a whole bunch of chem fuel. I didn't realize we took our four of them in the beginning. And we won! Unfortunately, we broke our plane too, because the planes in this mod are balanced in a way that lowers their HP. So that did not go according to plan. Uh, we lost two, but we took a predator base. Now imagine how much we could sell all this predator gear for in uh, the real world. But yeah, that is basically the mod though. It is really, really awesome. I love stuff like this. I'm actually loving uh, the SRTS and the get to the chopper mods, those sorts of mods that let you have like reusable drop pods in that sense. I think that's totally awesome. I don't know whether or not they're balanced because they add such a unique perspective to the game that it makes it hard to balance in a sense. I'd, I'd be quite irked if I was a mod maker trying to balance this sort of mod. Um, but this, I think, I feel the helicopter mod, at least this gets to the chopper one, is quite substantially more balanced than the uh, SRTS expanded one. Just on purely based on the fact that they have lower HP, lower fuel values, and lower uh, ranges that you can go. So you can't carry as much, you can't go as far, and they break easily, so you can't do this. In the last video that I did, I did almost the exact same thing as this, where I just dropped on an enemy base with a whole bunch of chem fuel, and the plane survived at the end. The plane survived an explosion like that, which is just shocking, uh, which is totally fine for that mod if that's how they want to balance it, but I'm not personally a big fan of that sort of thing because you can literally just drop in on anyone's base. I mean, the chem fuel stack is 1,500 now, it used to be less than that. I don't know if that's the base or if I've just got some mod screwing with it. But, for example, if the stack was like 75, you could have 10 stacks of chem fuel and just have a big circle of fuel. Anyways, Billy stands victorious. Of course he does. Billy. Nice job, buddy. He'll treat himself, get all better, and live out his new life as a predator. Which is freaking awesome, with his pet Boomalope, who actually somehow survived. Is that the only one? We had two survived. I don't know where the other one is. Obviously, he doesn't care enough about it. No, just burned. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Again, I'm really loving all the support that the channel's gotten. I really feel like we're one big family. So, it's been so freaking awesome to see the reception just sort of shoot through the roof again. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying making videos again. There's no burnout whatsoever. I think, to be honest, just to go on a little bit about it, the burnout came a lot from streaming. Um, I think streaming was the big one. And I had a big schedule for streaming, and I try and stream, like, once every two days. I think that's what really burnt me out. I don't know if it was just anxiety-ridden, though. I did feel a little bit anxiety-ridden when I was doing it. It was one of those difficult things. Um... Yeah, you know, to be on camera and to try to be funny, in a sense. That's why I like YouTube. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Do appreciate it. And we're about to leave. We're gone. <sighs> Goodbye. Goodbye, pres- uh, whatever. Yelcha camp. We return home now. Anyways. Again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.